Hello, I'm Igor and welcome to my tech fam. A few weeks ago, I did a video about testing plus cement carbon fiber PC blend. And it is great material, but in mechanical testing, it has one very weak point, and that's the layer adhesion. And then I got a lot of suggestions to uh, completely disable the fan because by default the Prussia slicer leaves 20% part cooling fan and even 30% on the bridging. So I will reprint those uh, test specimens printed vertically for the layer attention test with smallest cross section area 4x4 mm. Uh, I will print everything on 295 degrees Celsius because also I got a suggestion to raise the temperature. And I will completely disable the fan and of course I will print everything inside the enclosure. I ran printed vertical test objects on 295 degrees Celsius for the layer attention test and this time I printed on textured PI sheet uh, without any glue stick or any other adhesives and I completely turned off the part cooling fan and I closed the door now so inside the enclosure the temperature is uh, 48 degrees Celsius. Well it's printed but the smallest cross section array is not nicely squared like with the PLA and the regular cooling. Uh, the reason for that is that uh, without a uh, fan the layer printing time is very short and it doesn't have enough time to cool down. It would be much better if I would have, I know, at least uh, 10 pieces at a time and in that case the layer would have more time for the cooling. But uh, it's printed and uh, I will test it as it is now and I hope I will get much better layer adhesion. Was stronger definitely. Interesting, this cross section area should be squared, but it is almost rounded, and I can see it is very solid. So, definitely, uh, even 20% cooling will make the layer attention much weaker. So, if possible, completely disable the part cooling fan with printing of the carbon fiber PC blend. In the meantime, I checked the results, and uh, it was significantly higher. But I did that mistake that I changed two significant things, the, disabled the part cooling fan and raised the temperature by 10 degrees. So I printed everything on 295. So uh, I decided to reprint everything, but this time, of course, we disabled part cooling fan, but everything is printed now on 285 degrees Celsius. This was wrong too. The only difference between these objects is that this one is printed on 285 degrees Celsius and this one on 295 degrees Celsius. And I can see these cross sections are, are a little bit more rounded compared to these ones. Theoretically they should be squared. So definitely uh, 295 is uh, very high temperatures for printing this kind of overhangs or small surfaces without any part cooling. And this is the result. So these two rows are from my previous video. And here you can see on the graph. So. Uh, PC blend uh, printed on 285 degrees Celsius with the part cooling broke on approximately 16 kilograms. Annealing helped a little bit, but this is not big difference. See? And here you can see printed objects on 285 and 295 without any cooling. And you can see significantly improved uh, performance in the layer adhesion test. And our short conclusions were basically the numbers tells you everything, but uh, definitely, if possible, then you should turn off completely the part cooling fan. Of course, pay attention that you don't have uh, too big overhangs or bridging. In that case, uh, at least, I know, 10 or 15 percent part cooling fan would be recommended, but definitely, uh, without part cooling fan, the layer attention is much better.